Hey guys, welcome to The Freak Show. I'm Dizzy Angel Damon, and this is part two of my Skeleton Pony, Chibi Pony Adventures, Impact Miniatures, Pony Painting. <laughs> um, here I'll be working on the base. I've already started it, and unfortunately I do have some footage missing, so I will try to um, recap what I've done so far. So I started off with a, uh, I think it's like a two by five centimeter um, base from the Warhammer Fantasy line for, these are like infantry bases and things like that, or cal um, sorry, these are um, cavalry bases. And I used some cork board that I got at the craft store, it's basically just a roll of cork that you can use to make your own um, custom cork boards. And I broke it up into some rough pieces and I kind of layered them onto each other. Then, as you can see the like, black dots, those were markings to let me know where the pony is going to stand on the base. So I just used some paint marked off the area where the hooves are going to touch because I do want that to be flat so the pony will stick nicely. And now I'm just going to go ahead and apply some glue all over where I want to add um, some rocks and texture. And for the rocks and texture I'll be using the um, Gale Force 9, um, what is it, Urban Rubble set or something like that that I got. Um, this was my second time using them. I will show you the footage of the first time I used it in a little bit. But yeah, I really like this set. It's uh, It's got a really nice variety of um, rock in it so that you can create some, some great effects. And I'll just be using the um, large, medium, and small rocks that come with it. And then there's like um, some concrete simulated concrete like rubble pieces that came with the set. But for what I'm doing here, I won't need that. So I start off with the largest of my um, rocks and I position those kind of a little bit more carefully where I want them. Um, I'm going to add a little bit of extra glue right there because they are rather large and I want to make sure that they do stick to the base and cork. And the cork does like to absorb glue so it's a good idea to actually give it like a um, just kind of like a base coat or like a pre-coat of glue before you start doing this so that it doesn't absorb all of your glue while you're trying to work with it. Okay, had to take a little coffee break there because as you can tell, I'm losing my voice for some reason. But, um, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you just like apply like a quick base coat, let it dry a bit, and then whenever you're working with your actual um, terrain, your glue's not going to absorb all into the cork, so it makes it a little easier for you to work with. Now I'm going to move on to the medium grit um, rocks here, and this I'm a little less careful with, but I'm still not just kind of throwing it on the base. I'm just working a little bit closer to the larger rocks, I guess, but kind of all over the place just to make it look like pebbles scattered across the ground. And I'm using this to fill up some of the empty space on the cork, just so that it looks like, um, you know, like rough wilderness terrain. I don't want this to look like a concrete slab or anything like that. And again, I'm losing my voice. <laughs> As you can tell, these containers are extremely filled. Uh, this is my second time using them, and they're still overflowing. So here's the fine rock, and this one here I'm really just sprinkling it all over. I'm going to clean up the edges because I don't want any of that rock to be down along the edges. I want those to look nice and smooth. So that's how it's looking. It looks pretty messy right now, but I'm going to let the glue dry. And then I went ahead and primed it with some ready brown. I'm going to use scorched brown. This is a Citadel color. It's one of my older colors. I'm not sure if it's been renamed or discontinued, but if you look at their conversion chart that's all over the web, you'll be able to at least find out what it is now. Um, it's, it's just a nice dark brown, and I watered it down a lot. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it kind of like a wash, and just cover the whole surface of my base. And that's going to tone down a bit of that rusty red color that you have from the ready brown. I'm trying to focus it a little bit more into the crevices and things like that, like you would with the wash, just to darken up all those areas. You want to make sure you get like the edges and things like that. And that's all there is to it. You just got to let that dry. I 
And now that's all dry, I'm going to go in with Graveyard Earth, and this is another one of my older Citadel colors. It's a warm, kind of pale, earthy brown. really like this color. And I'm going to use a large dry brush. It's kind of like a stiff, bristled brush, and I'm going to take some of the paint, wipe most of it off on a paper towel, and I'm just going to lightly um, brush over the details, and that's going to kind of just, the paint's going to catch on all the edges and everything like that, and it's just going to um, highlight all of that detail, the little pebbles and the corking and everything that I laid down onto the base. So yeah, that's all I'm going to do here. I'm going to keep building it up gradually until I like how it looks. I don't want to just like cover the whole thing. I want to focus on like all the little rocks and details and everything like that. So that's what I'm going through doing here. You can really see how the detail is showing up much better now, but you can still see all the, t the colors underneath, like from the um, primer, the ruddy brown primer, to the scorch brown and like wash that we applied. It's still all visible. And I'm gonna take a smaller dry brush. I'm gonna do the same thing, but this time with a little bit more um, control. Here we have one of my older Citadel foundation paints in Kemri Brown. It's um, a similar toned brown, but I guess you'd say it's it's a little darker than the Great Red Earth. Um, I kind of want to stay in the same tone or feel of color, but this one here might be a little bit more gray, so it might be a little cooler toned as well. But I don't want anything too uh, different. Like I could have gone in with some grays and things like that, but I'm, I'm trying to keep it very similar in color. So I just went in and highlighted those uh, larger rocks that I laid down. And here I'm using um, some Citadel paint in Commando Khaki. And this one here is like a, a khaki beige kind of a color. And this is going to be like my really bright highlight that I'm going to go in and carefully apply to areas that I want to make really pop. Um, I think I was focusing more on the little pebbles that I laid down. And I believe I took a bit of graveyard earth, went in and just kind of, I'm just kind of playing with the colors here, like the dry brushing colors, and until it starts to look the way I like.